Hi, I'm Klaus Kulander. We want to make a video abstract for you and the first piece of the puzzle is this. And the second one is this. The third one is how do we actually memorize things. So we want to tell you about a study where we used the knowledge about how S2 coal line influence the signaling in the hippocampus and how the brain uses this information in microcircuits in the hippocampus. So in our previous work, uh, what we found out is that this uh, cell in the hippocampus is an interneuron that is uh, in the outermost layer of the hippocampus. It connects to the innermost layer of the hippocampus here, called lacunose molecular. This neuron is called uh, orange lacunose molecular. This interneuron, it in inhibits direct like inputs that come from the entorhinal cortex, and this inhibit inputs that come from uh, CA3. But then these traffic collaterals, they also send inputs to um, stratoradiative interneurons. And these stratoradiative interneurons, they provide uh, feed forward inhibition to the pyramidal cells. Mm. But the OLM cells, they inhibit them. So they disinhibit these um, traffic collateral inputs. And uh, we also found in this previous work that uh, these cells, they receive um, cholinergic projections direct and uh, they are nico uh, nicotinic. And these cholinergic projections from the septum can activate them. We have used uh, Kernet 2 the promoter of this to create the Cre transgenic line, which then allows us to manipulate the OLM alpha 2 cells, the Cre2 expressing OLM cells, so that we can either inhibit or activate those cells using optogenetics. So if we look at this video, uh, Cre2 Cre line that has been crossbred to a tomato reporter, and all the white dots that you see here are OLM cell bodies, those that express the Cre2. Uh, receptor. Here the fuzzy white is the terminals of the OLM cells that terminate in the lacunosa molecular layer. In this video we also show in this green spot that appeared here, you will soon see it again, the area that we targeted in the, in the intermediate hippocampus where we, we target approximately 300 out of around 3000 OLM cells in one hippocampus. We did this in, in both hippocampi during the experiments. So to investigate the all M cells role in, um, in learning behaviors, uh, we use the optogenetic approach to either stimulate or inhibit the all M cells during learning tasks. And the tasks that we chose to use uh, were object recognition and passive inhibitory avoidance. So during the object recognition task, what we do is we have a training session where the mouse is allowed to explore two objects for 10 minutes. Um, and during that task, uh, we stimulate the, uh, or inhibit the OLM cells when they're exploring one of the objects. And then during a testing, uh, we replace one of the objects for a novel one. And a control mouse would then uh, explore the novel object much more than the familiar one. And what we observe from this behavior is that when we stimulate the OLM cells, uh, we get an impairment, uh, so they explore both objects just as much. And if we inhibit the OLM cells, what we observe is that we get the opposite effect, which is that they have a higher preference for the novel object and much less variation. Now, how does this circuit use the OLM alpha 2 cells to direct the flow of information to achieve this bidirectional modulation of learning? We believe that the OLM alpha 2 cells acts as a gatekeeper. So when it is active, it is inhibiting the distal dendrite and uh, direct inputs from the cortex are not then allowed to um, activate the pyramidal cell. Instead, the intrahippocampal pathway is uh, able to influence the pyramidal cell activity. If instead the OLM alpha 2 cells is inhibited, the direct input from the entorhinal cortex can influence the pyramidal cell activity and then the recognition of novelty is uh, enabled. 